Last week, U.S. Congress took measures to increase military veterans' access to medical cannabis. First, the House approved a measure to stop federal funds from being used to prohibit VA doctors from prescribing medical cannabis in states where it's legal. The amendment, sponsored by Congressman Earl Blumenauer, was attached to a military and veteran spending bill. It simply enables VA doctors and patients to interact with state legal marijuana systems, systems that this Congress has repeatedly supported through amendment votes, just like everybody else. We should not be limiting the treatment options available to our veterans. Bear in mind that these people are suffering from PTSD, chronic pain, depression, conditions that medical marijuana is legally entitled to treat and which veterans that I have met with literally from coast to coast say has transformed their lives. And what we're doing now, they're dying at a higher rate than the average member in the, po in the population. The suicide rate is high. The opioid addiction rate is almost twice as high as the average citizen. I think that's unconscionable. We should have this amendment to try and help address it. After a brief debate on the House floor, the measure actually failed the first vote. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. Fan no. the chair, the noes have it. The amendment, gentleman from Oregon. On that, I would request a recorded vote. Proceedings on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Oregon will be postponed. Thanks to Blumenauer, the measure passed a recount. The yeas are 233, the nays are 189. The amendment is adopted. Well, today the House did do one good thing, but moving forward, we must continue to reform our outdated policies and laws and bring Congress into step with the state legislatures in over half of the states in the country that have moved forward on this issue. Later in the day, the Senate easily approved a similar bill. The yeas are 89, the nays are 8, the bill as amended passes. Unfortunately, another measure intended to incite medical cannabis research failed to even get a Senate vote. 